Elon Musk just let us know that XAI is about to open source Grok and it's a really big deal. Let's take a look. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. I'm just getting back from Whistler. So of course I had to wear my Whistler shirt. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> you always gotta get a shirt wherever you go. Anyway, I want to start off with this very short but sweet post from Elon Musk. Elon says, this week XAI will open source Grok. And of course, as you can see, it's already got 10 million views. And as I said in my reply to the post, this is excellent news. I know you'd plan to do this all along, but it's still a very big step and will help the AI community move forward in a more secure, testable way than some other options out there there, <coughs> open AI. And as you can see, he said this about five hours ago, so around 5 a.m. Eastern time on March 11th. All right, so short and sweet, this is what Elon said. Why is this a big deal? The first reason it's a big deal is simply because Elon had said when he created XAI, he specifically said the ideal was to go against OpenAI, which is no longer OpenAI, but closed AI and open source everything. Now the company was only founded in April, so just less than a year ago, but up until this point, we had not seen anything open sourced. So obviously you have to give a company some amount of time to develop a product before they open source it, at least if it's a large large endeavor like this, but eventually, you know, you have to put your money where your mouth is. And if you're saying the point of creating some specific piece of software is to open source that piece of software, then you have to actually open source that piece of software at some point. So of course, that's the number one reason why XAI open sourcing Grok is a big deal. The second big reason, as I noted in my reply, is that this is the antithesis of OpenAI, which is now closed AI, and they're not open sourcing their chat GPT or other things like Sora, etc. And of course, OpenAI was originally co-founded by Elon Musk and others to be specifically OpenAI. The whole point was they were supposed to open source their code. But of course, a few years ago, OpenAI changed things pretty radically and created a sub company that is allowed to be for profit and all of this kind of stuff. And they decided that they were not going to open source their products instead. And while they rationalized this by saying that the reason they're not doing this is because it's too dangerous to open source all of this stuff, the real reason is much more likely to be a monetary reason, of course, because you know, if you've got companies like like Microsoft and others who have invested a lot of money into this company and they want to see a large return and they want to own the intellectual property. They don't want other people to be able to share in that because that reduces the amount of profit that they can make. So reason number two, it's important that XAI is open sourcing Grok is simply because they're showing OpenAI what they were supposed to have done. The third reason, which is highly related to that is that Elon Musk is currently suing OpenAI for not being open source, for going against the the original nonprofit, you know, foundation of the company and now being quite a behemoth and quite a for-profit company. So Elon is in the middle of suing the company. If XAI did not open source Grok, it would be a very, very weird look. I actually mentioned that last week in a post. I said, hey, you know, <laughs> you guys have kind of a strange look at this point where Elon is suing OpenAI for not open sourcing their, their code, where at the same time, we've got XAI, which was also built to be open source and to create open source software. And that hasn't done it yet. So I think the timing of this is not coincidental at all. I think that this was necessary in order for Elon to have more standing when it came to suing OpenAI by going like, look, I founded this other company and I still have control of that company and that company is open sourcing their software. Whereas with OpenAI, I helped to co-found it and I provided a lot of money for it to start it up and everything, but then I was pretty much hands off and they, they altered course and they were not open. And that change was very much against my original vision. It would be harder for Elon to argue that case and to have standing in the case if XAI was not in the process of open sourcing Grok. And the fourth and I think most important effect of XAI open sourcing Grok is that Grok has not been fine tuned to get rid of, a, you know, reality, etc. However you want to call this, if you want to call it wokeness, if you want to call it red teaming, if you want to call it reinforcement learning through very, very specific human feedback, whatever that is, Grok has been allowed to be a more broad broad-based AI. Now, it's certainly not as, as a little bit crazy as it was in the original beta releases that they did, you know, several months ago. That At that point, Grok was pretty wide open and kind of wild west when you would write something in. It really had no holds barred in terms of the way it would answer you. It looks like they've refined it to some extent at this point, and I'm talking about Grok 1.0, and I'm going to get to Grok 1.5 in just a minute. But basically, it looks like they've done some reinforcement learning through human feedback to tone things down to some extent, and 
to make it a little bit safer, but still by far of the LLMs that are out there, it's the one that is the most open, you know, out of the box without fine tuning. It's allowed to do whatever it wants. It answers in a much more free manner. It's not as boxed in as most of the other large language models, including open sourced ones like Llama, et cetera. Of course, once the architecture and the weights are open source, people can do whatever they want to with it, right? They can change it and they can refine tune it to be different than it was before, but that can take a lot of work when you're talking about a foundation model that can cost hundreds of millions of dollars to do that initial training run. Most people don't have the resources to go back and retrain it like that. So the advantage with Grok is once it's open source, the weights are going to be much less restrictive. We're going to have more full access to a larger answer space. And as has been proven in research, that is going to make Grok smarter than a lot of the competition. When you do things like re restrict the ability of large language models to be able to give certain answers and everything, you actually make these LLMs stupider than they would be if they were just the original versions of them. So the fact that we have a less restrictive, more open to giving you know more full answers and hopefully smarter large language model is a really big benefit of XAI open sourcing Grok. Now, which version of Grok are they going to open source? Elon was not specific about that. My guess is since they're releasing Grok 1.5 at some point in the near future, and that is going to be a large step up, that what we're going to get open sourced is Grok 1.0. I have a feeling that what they're going to do is retain the latest version of their software. So eventually when they get to Grok 2.0 and 3.0 and whatever. As they release each version, my prediction is that they will open source the previous version. So while Elon was not specific about that, my guess would be that they're not going to open source something that they haven't even officially released at this point. Now, maybe they'll surprise me. That would be a big surprise in my mind. But what I think they'll do is open source 1.0, but keep 1.5 proprietary for right now, both for terms of testing, because again, it's a new piece of software and they haven't had a chance to let the wider public use it yet. So there's a kind of a safety concern with that. But also, also, I think for some proprietary advantage, right? So they can stay ahead of themselves, essentially. So they'll have a proprietary version that is being utilized to do research, but also to give XAI some sort of advantage and bragging rights. And the version they released to the public this week is going to be the 1.0 architecture and weights and not the 1.5 version. That's just my guess about this. Obviously, Elon was not telling us the details of all of these things, but I would be highly surprised if they release the 1.5 version which is the very, very cutting edge version, which Elon has teased is significantly better than the 1.0 version. Maybe they'll do that, but I kind of doubt it. I think they will release the previous version publicly as they release the next version in a proprietary format. And quite honestly, as long as they're on kind of a six or eight month cycle where they're releasing a new major version every six or eight months, I think we as the public, it's fine for us to get the older version open sourced. There's gonna be plenty of you know experimentation, playing around, all sorts of fun things that people can do with the original version of Grok, assuming that XAI does not release the 1.5 version. All right, so again, exciting news from XAI that they're going to be open sourcing Grok. Whichever version it is, it's going to be a big new player in open source large language models, and that's going to be very exciting. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether you agree with me, whether you think they're going to go straight to releasing 1.5 architecture and weights publicly. If they do, that would be a huge surprise and quite the slap in the face to everybody else. I don't think they're going to do that, but anyway, we will find out very very, very shortly. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, please do like it and consider subscribing for more of this kind of content. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.